Um, well, yesterday you told me you cut up the game from the Toronto game and wanted to go over my shifts with me um, this morning before the game. And then I watched the Florida game this morning before uh, the game here. So I just uh, was looking at how I was playing. And we went through the shifts um, from the Toronto game. And at the end of it, we discussed what we saw. And the term he used was you're kind of just existing out there. And the term I used was that it kind of looked, un looked uninspired to me, the way I was playing. So um, he said get back to being determined and, and skating, using your assets, and go to the net, and uh, good things will happen. And um, he's, he's the coach of the year for a reason. He's such a smart guy, and he's got his hands all over the game. And um, you just trust his word, and, and tonight I get uh, some rewards from it. When you play a team like this, do you think about what they did to you the last time or two years ago and, and you know, feel that scorn sort of and it just always these games mean more? Yeah, they're, uh, we like playing against them. They're always physical games and uh, they're fun for the fans to watch. Uh, and they got some good hockey players. And, um, hockey players have long memories. So um, we've had some good battles with them and uh, we still remember what happened last time. Um, you know, with that incident. So we wanted to, to pay them back in the right way today, and, and that's by taking the two points from them. Coach pulls you aside like that, and you know, what's going through your mind when he pulls you aside? Well, you come up with this. Um, well, it means I'm not doing the things I should be doing. Um, and he kind of said, just strip down your game and get back to basics, and um, challenged me in a positive way. Um, you know, it's nice to have a coach that'll take the time and do that, not just scream at you, but pull you aside and and give you a one-on-one -on -one session. Say, this is why you were successful, and this is why right now you're not being so. Um, like I said, Bruce is an amazing coach. He's got his hands all over the game, and I don't know if any of you have read his book. I told him once a, a comment that Fedorov told me. You compared him to Scotty Bowman, and in. in uh, just his, his feel for the game and um, you know that's why I, I had to reiterate that comment to him and after I scored the first one just going to the net I came back to the bench and said uh, you're unbelievable just he makes the game so easy to play. Talk about just the ability of this team to, to be explosive offensively you guys fell behind and then you kind of got it going and that's kind of been your guys in both. Well it's not a real recipe for success but um, the thing we talk about all the time is pace of the game for 60 minutes. Um, a lot of teams will come out against us and play hard in the first period, but we don't think they can sustain it through the whole game. And that's why some teams get leads on us, 3-1, 4-1, but then we're able to push and, and come back and win hockey games. So um, I think our team's in great condition with the talent that we have uh, and the way we play. I don't think you can ever really write us off. This has been in and out on the penalty shots tonight. You, you knew the move you were going to do and you lifted the leg. That was something you used to do. Tell me about the, about the move. Yeah, it's... Uh, it was a pretty good move, I think, and uh, you know, I kind of I tried to freeze him, mm -hmm. and uh, he's, uh, he just uh, don't move, and I just uh, put my back in my backhand, and it uh, goes yeah. in. So it was pretty good. You've done, you've had more assists in, the re in recent games. Are you doing more to set up your teammates? Do you, are you making a conscious effort to maybe set up your teammates a little more? No, I just try. Uh, if I see the partner's open, I just give it to him. But uh, you know, it's uh, it's like. It's like uh, reading the game, and uh, if I have a chance to give him, I give it to him. What was the change maybe late in the first period? Uh, they were all over you the first 10 minutes, but it seemed like you guys kind of found your legs and uh, and got it going. What, what, what changed there in the first period? Well, I think it's uh, you know 3 o'clock game, and uh, we're kind of sleepy, and uh, uh, they were uh, more fresh, but uh, they get a goal, and uh, it's good for us to bounce back. And uh, in the second period, I think... Uh, our power play working. We have only one power play and uh, we score, so it's uh, it's pretty good results. Brooks, how, how nice was it to see? Um, how nice was it, Obi, to see Brooks get rewarded? It's been a while since December 28th that he had scored. He was very frustrated, but coach and him uh, had some good discussions before the game, and he was rewarded. Yeah, he was uh, kind of uh, a little bit concentrated about uh, just himself. So, uh, usually, he's uh, was joking around, like you know, laughing, and uh, he just was concentrated, and uh, you know. Everybody happy for him. He gets uh, three points, and uh, it was a big game for him. So he deserved what he get today. Are these games a little bit more fun to play? I mean, knowing what they have done to you in the past, does it give you a little bit more of an edge? It certainly seems like very much like a playoff game. Uh, it's still not playoffs yet, but uh, uh, it's getting closer. In the uh, first period, I thought uh, it was the uh, same like playoffs game. You know, uh, everybody just wait our mistakes. Uh, they uh, have two goals, and uh, we bounce back, and, uh, you know, uh, Tio played great today again, and uh, you know it's uh, it's helps a lot. Having finally made a penalty shot, how many are you going to make in a row now? 
Uh, you never know. <laughs> you guys have scored four plus goals in your last seven games. What's been the big reason for the big outburst? Well, we just want to give fans uh, free chicken wings and, uh, you know, just uh, uh, give them free food, you know. <laughs> take us through just kind of what you were thinking on that penalty shot. Uh, just kind of take us through it a little bit. Um, I just knew what I'm going to do it, and uh, you know it's uh, it's good when uh, he just uh, uh, didn't recognize what I'm going to do. So it's uh, it's uh, like uh, lucky, you know. But another shot is lucky, I think. Emery's first game back since uh, the first of December. You with concentrate, just get shots on net and, and test them out a little bit tonight. Yeah, and, uh, you know uh, when uh, goal is frustrated, you just want to give him more shots. But uh, again, first period they played great. Uh, they gave him more shots uh, than uh, we do, and. Uh, you know, we was lucky. We scored uh, two goals, and uh, after the first period was uh, one on one or well, two two, so it uh, was good. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know who that happened for, but uh, but uh, obviously it's not, it's not a good thing. You're a little bit nervous, but uh, I mean, we've been playing good lately, and, uh, and um, so hopefully, hopefully nobody has to has to go behind and see him. <laughs> Playoff atmosphere out there seems like a lot of physical, a lot of checks being finished. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, as I said, it used to be good games against Philly, and, uh, and they're a great hockey team. And, uh, and we, we played good 60 minutes today, and uh, great effort from Theodore back there. And uh, and um, Brooks has scored two goals. I mean, that, that's that's good for the team that uh, all other players scored, uh, other than uh, Ovi. Yeah, absolutely. We we come in. We have a lot of confidence now, and uh, it's it's uh, it's good. It's good because we're going to play a great team on Tuesday and uh, and, and Thursday. So um, it's going to be it's going to be two good games coming up here, and uh, we we have to be ready. I think you had to save the game, <laughs> <laughs> like break down that play. Like what happened? I don't know. Their guy kind of just pitch forked towards the net. It kind of popped yeah. up, and it was a free for all from there. I just kind of went down on all fours and tried to make myself big. And fortunately, it hit me. And at first, you actually swung, you, you like swung your arm at it, like you tried to bat it. A little yeah, bit, right? I tried to bat it out, but I couldn't reach it. My arm's yeah. a little short, and then yeah. popped back up, and then I don't know, it was a, kind of a mess there. But we'll take it. So, so you didn't actually kick your leg out; it just kind of hit your skate. Yeah, I just went down on all fours, tried to make myself big, and fortunately, it hit hit my skate. What was the turnaround there? Uh, first period, you guys were outshot like seven to one. They were up two two one at one point. What, like, yeah, we didn't get as many shots as we wanted in the first. I think we played okay. Yeah. We just didn't get too many shots. And I think coming out in the second, we talked, about, you know, getting more pucks to the net, getting more traffic, and, yeah. you know, it worked out for us. Um, Brooks, like, you know, it's been a long, long road for him these past um, month, month and a half or so. Nice to see as a teammate. Uh, oh, yeah. It's, I think the guys in the bench were so excited when he scored that first goal, probably more excited than he was. So uh, it's nice for a guy like that who works his butt off every day, uh, you know, to get a goal and help us win. After what happened two years ago, must have been nice to go 3 0 1 against Philly uh, this season. Yeah, we're just taking it one game at a time against those guys. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter where we are in the standings or where they are, it's always a tough game, and tonight was no different. Looks like a very solid game from uh, John Carlson. Can you talk about what you saved from him? Yeah, he, he stepped in the other night and played really well, and, you know, tonight was the same. He hasn't missed a beat, and he's playing great and giving us some good minutes.